So I've been running into an increasing number of people lately that tell me they're highly concerned about their health because of the smart meters that have been installed, radio wave towers, cell towers, cordless phones, and other sources of electromagnetic radiation. In fact, some of the people are paying our power company an additional $36 a month to avoid having a smart meter because the smart meters transit a little, a little bit. A lot of people are absolutely concerned that these smart meters are undermining their health. I tend to have a little bit of a skeptical nature about the whole thing for a couple reasons. Number one, um, I'm a ham radio operator, been into this hobby for many years, and I've been exposed to tremendous amounts of radio frequency energy. And they say one of the first organs that can be damaged from too much radio frequency energy is your, are your eyes. Now I'm 61 years old, I still have fairly good eyes, I'm, I'm not wearing glasses yet. And you would think as, with as much exposure as I've had to these radio waves that my eyes would have gone bad by now. Of course, that alone isn't proof that these things can't harm us, but let me talk a little bit about what conventional theory teaches and go over some of my concerns and some of the things I'm not concerned about. So if you look at the electromagnetic spectrum, it's made of two regions that we need to consider here. One is considered ionizing radiation. That's the real deadly stuff that comes from X-ray tubes, gamma rays, lightning, sunshine. This is the stuff that can give you cancer, it can tear your molecules apart, and... Uh, not good stuff. On the other hand, the lower frequency stuff, such as radio waves and microwaves even, it's considered low enough frequency to where even though it's capable of cooking something from what they call the thermal effect, they don't believe it's capable of tearing apart your DNA as these uh, other sources of radiation would be. Now I hear a lot of talk about uh, Wi-Fi routers for example and how people tell me they feel sick whenever the Wi-Fi is on. Well, First of all, these things are they're such a low power that, gosh, I mean, you can hardly go from one end of your house to the other. So I, I'm having a hard time buying the, the idea that these things are going to cause any problems, even though some people insist. Magnetron, on the other hand, inside of your microwave oven, sure. Uh, if you're right next to it, it'll cook you to death. But uh, at a distance, um, I'm going to show you a little experiment later in the video here where I turned one on about three feet away from a beaker of water and I was not able to heat the water up after five minutes of exposure. Microwave tube, I'm sorry, x-ray tube on the other hand, bad news. Uh, you don't want to get uh, too much exposure to something like this. Now we're surrounded by radio waves whether we like it or not, so unless you live underground uh, you're going to be getting all kinds of this stuff passing through your body and uh, it's not believed to be harmful. Now what you're looking at here is a field strength meter and got a little walkie-talkie in my hand. If I turn this thing on, push the transmit button, you can see it, it pegs a meter. But look what happens when I pull this walk, walkie-talkie away just a few feet. You see how the signal intensity drops off there? Now, on the other hand, if I move it back, sure, if you're right next to the antenna, you're getting a pretty good dose. In fact, you can see it on the spectrum analyzer there as well. Now, I recently went up to a cell tower and I brought my uh, field strength meter with me to see what kind of reading I could get. I couldn't get any reading at all. I mean, I couldn't even see the slightest amount of movement on the on the uh, scale there. So, you know, I don't think that we need to be too concerned about anything coming off cell towers. And again, you know, it's not like we're transmitting x-rays. Sure, we might be transmitting stuff in the region of a microwave oven, for example, or, you know, a, a Wi-Fi router, but, but how strong of a signal are we talking about? Now, if, when I turned on a microwave oven inside of a truck, I wasn't even able to heat water from about, well, I only left it on for five minutes, but, you know, I hear the thing was, the door was open on the microwave, and uh, the safety switch had been bypassed so I could turn it on, and you could see that the water temperature did not go up after five minutes. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you see the experiment here. You decide for yourself, but I thought this uh, experiment might put some of you at ease about your concerns over radio wave interference, or radio wave radiation. By the way, you might want to fast forward through some of this experiment I'm about to show because it's, it goes on for about five minutes of just staring at a microwave, uh, causing some neon lights to, to glow. In fact, what I did was I grabbed these, I had some neon lights here for part of the experiment. Uh, they're phosphor coated neon lights and they actually burn out about uh, two thirds of the way through the experiment. And you'll see that too. Anyways, I'll go ahead and start the experiment. Good. Glad to hear it. Let's see what happens. 
Okay, so that was five minutes. Oh, it went out because of the hair. No, I don't. I didn't go oh, up. That's, it. What it is, the, the tape, the bottom of the tape is where that where it was before. Uh huh. You see, it didn't raise the temperature at all. Oh, okay. So the likelihood of us being cooked by a cell tower or something is yeah. nil. In fact, what um, when I took this field strength meter, I went under a cell tower not that long ago. You couldn't even get a reading. So. But, I mean, I don't know about other sources of radiation being harmful, but as far as the thermal effect, it's it's pretty insignificant. I mean, considering a microwave oven is probably putting out, a small one like that, at least 500 watts. Okay. Now, the smart meter, a lot of people are paranoid of these smart meters. They only put out, um, uh, like, you know, maybe 3 watts or something like that, and they, they spike. They transmit for, like, brief seconds every once in a while. You yeah. know what I mean? And there are people, a lot of people paying the... the the uh, the power company an extra thirty six dollars a month not to have a smart meter because they're convinced they're being harmed by the radio waves. Right. Yep. And here I am, all this power here inside this truck. I've got this thermometer here that didn't raise the temperature at three feet away with a, at least five hundred watts coming out of the microwave. You can see where the black tape is where that's where it was when it started. So it didn't it didn't raise this water any detectable amount. And I just put. Well, as you can see, I went ahead and edited the video so you didn't have to stir up my microwave oven for five minutes. Um, for what it's worth, I just wanted to uh, make this video to help people understand we're probably not going to be cooked from our cell phones anytime in the near future or any 5G towers or any of these other sources of man-made electromagnetic radiation. On the other hand, I'm probably not going to be sleeping in that box truck of mine with the microwave going to warm myself up. I think that'd be insane. But I'm just trying to give you a little perspective on what the dangers are and what they aren't. Uh, for what it's worth, I took this field strength meter and I held it right next to my cell phone. And when I dialed the number, I could just barely see this meter moving on this thing. So these things put out very small power. In fact, if you happen to have seen that video where the guy cooks an egg using cell phones, that's complete nonsense. You can't, yeah, I couldn't even heat the water in the truck as you saw with a microwave oven going at a distance, which is far, far stronger than anything this thing puts out here. Anyway, for what it's worth, I, I also heard that there hasn't been any increase in brain cancer since the advent of the cell phone. So that's a good sign. And, uh, well, if you're one of those people that tend towards paranoia like a lot of the people I run into, uh, I hope this sets your mind at ease a little bit. I'm not going to say that this thing shouldn't be studied more or that uh, there aren't some inherent dangers if you're too close to the transmitting antenna, such as putting your head right next to a, a magnetron in a microwave. That wouldn't be a good idea. But something like this, your Wi-Fi modem, incredibly weak. Uh, I, you can barely get the thing to go from one side of the house to the other, and yet you hear people saying that you know they feel sick around Wi-Fi signals and that they're sensitive. I doubt that. Anyway, for what it's worth, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.